good morning my dear students welcome back to our new class in our last class we have discussed the classifications under modern approach modern approach means which which means we have done under american system we have been classified the certain accounts under american systems and also we have discussed and also we have done two problems for you let us continue for the day today i will be doing certain problems after doing that this chapter will be closed from next we will start to fourth chapter try to understand the third question for you third question classify the classify the following accounts following accounts into assets comma liabilities comma capital comma expenses and losses and income side gains these are the classifications you should do here let me repeat once again in our previous class we have classified certain accounts into american system in american system it has been divided into five accounts which are those five accounts asset account liabilities account capital account expenses and losses account and income and gains account under that we have been classified certain accounts assets are in bharat liabilities are in bharat capital are in bharat expenses and losses are in bharat income and gains are in bharat ella na en maadidde last class alli yaga account alli en bharat anta explain maadibittu adanna barbittu adagide we have done two problems on that this question is mandatory this question is compulsory for you for how many marks for six marks this is this question is for you six marks which is most important for your exam point of view write down the next study classify the following accounts into assets liabilities capital expenses and losses and income and gain we have to classify they will be giving certain accounts to you there will be certain accounts to you which we have to do the classifications it means classify the following accounts into assets assets and liabilities Account. Account. 
purchasing return account purchase return account which is receivable account this is receivable right and then allows classical the following accounts classical my green line which are the items they have given which we have to do the classifications they have given cash account computer account purchase account drawings account land and building account salary account interest on investment account sales account wages account credit card account purchase return account and this receivable account these are the accounts they have given to you for this accounts you have to do the classifications write down one by one in the notes write down very clean writing one by one don't do any mistake while writing this accounts if you have any doubt just you can observe deeply Let us mark one by one. Let us mark one by one. Cash account. It comes under where? It comes under assets. Cash account comes under assets. Computer account. It is an asset. It comes under asset account. Purchase account. It comes under expenses and losses account. Drawings account. It comes under capital account. Line and building account. It is an asset account. Salary account. It comes under expenses and losses account. Next, interest or investment account. Keep it very clear in your mind. Interest or investment account. If we have given only investment account, it comes under assets. Now they are asking interest or investment account. If we pay any That is expenses and losses to the organization. Next, sales account. It comes under incomes and gains account. Wages account. It comes under wages. Now wages what they are there? Expenses and losses account. Credit cards account. It is comes under liability. Where it comes? It comes under liability. Purchase return account. It comes under expenses and losses. Bills receivable account, bills receivable account. Check it once. Bills receivable account comes under liability. These are the accounts they have given you, which we have to do the classifications under assets, liabilities, capital, expenses and losses, E and income and gains. Let us do the classifications. Write down liability, assets, assets. Assets are any number of them. Cash account. Write down here. Cash account. Next. Computer account. Computer account. Next. After that. Land and building account. Land and building account. Next. After that. Anything else comes under assets? No, only three items comes under assets. Next, liabilities. Which are the items comes under liabilities? Check it once. Liabilities, liabilities. Credit cards comes under liabilities. Credit cards account. Next, after that, credit cards bills. Sorry, wait a minute. So bills payable, sorry, bills receivable comes under assets. Bills receivable comes under assets. Bills payable comes under liability. Bills receivable is also a 
purchase account, buildings account, buildings account, wages account, wages account, sales account, credit cards account, credit cards account, purchase return account. Purchase return account, motor account, motor account, bills payable account, bills payable account, interest on investment account, sorry, investment account. These are the items they have given to you. Credit will be.
स्ट्रेट अकाउंट नेक्स्ट कंप्यूटर अकाउंट इट इज ए सेट कंप्यूटर अकाउंट नेक्स्ट सेल्स रिटर्न अकाउंट इट कम्स अंडर इनकम साइड सेल्स अकाउंट सेल्स रिटर्न अकाउंट हेड ऑन वेरी क्लीन Let it very clear. You are not really interested in doing this problem. This is compulsory for six marks. This question will be for you six marks. It is very important. Mind it. I have completed my problems to you. Remaining two problems are there, which you have to do by your own. Let us solve. Let us take down the question. Sixth question. I will address this. You should do by your own. If you are getting any doubt, you can do for to me. Right on. Land account. Land account. Credit card account. Credit card account. Bank account. Purchase account. Drawing account. Wages account. Building account, sales account, motor car account, interest, received account, goodwill account, goodwill account. Capital account. Head of this classifications in the notes. Head of the classifications. Classify the following accounts into assets, liabilities, capital, expenses and losses, and income and debts. There are certain accounts they have given to you, which you have to do in the notes. Do it by your own. Land account comes under assets, you know very well. Credit card account it comes under liability. Bank account it comes under assets. Purchase account it comes under expenses and losses account. Drawings account comes under capital account. Wages account comes under expenses and losses account. Buildings account comes under assets. Sales account comes under income side sales account. Motor car account comes under sales. Interest received comes under income side sales account. Goodwill account it is an assets. Goodwill account comes under assets. Capital account comes under capital account only. These are the items which we have to do the classifications. This is the sixth question.
Next, after writing this question, after doing the solution for this, take the last, last question for you, seventh question, classify the, classify the following accounts, accounts under American system, under American system. Next, 
इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट इट इज ए असेट नेक्स्ट लास्ट वन बैंक ओवर ड्राफ्ट दिस इज न्यू आइटम फॉर यू बैंक ओवर ड्राफ्ट कम्स अंडर ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन इन द फॉर्मेट बैंक ओवर ड्राफ्ट इट इज ए लायबिलिटी बैंक ओवर ड्राफ्ट इट कम्स अंडर लायबिलिटी दीस आर द अकाउंट्स यू शुड डू द क्लासिफिकेशन एंड द नोट्स यू हैव टू डू द सिक्स्थ प्रॉब्लम एज वेल एज सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम इन द नोट्स आफ्टर दिस दिस चैप्टर इज कंप्लीटेड then when never you come back to the class i will be check first chapter second chapter and third chapter from the first chapter second chapter and the third chapter everything should be available in our in your notes i have given the notes i have solved certain problems and also i have given certain one mark and two mark question for you which you have to write in the notes whenever you come back to the class your first duty is you have to show me the three chapters notes first chapter second chapter and third chapter i hope all of you have been understood this concept thank you so much thank you once again